Come and then bend the knot of fenders, I'm a road to the ground. When you want to go to see what song, song, you're not Jack Charles now. Come along, come along, you jolly wee boys and lads, for a grog in the tower. I'm a great shoe with the jolly roll in the Steer with the Indians or Japan. In Asia, there the ladies, they're all love the sailor man. Hip go ashore and on a tear, a bison gown gown. When your money's all gone, it's the same old song, and up Jack John's now. Come on, come along, you jolly ray boys, and let's more grog in the jar. I'll ride you to your with the jolly rolling tar. Whether it be too old to muck about in some grog shop, the linen stop to lay bells cows him out. Here reach his eyes up to the sky, saying, Boys, we're homeward bound. But when your money's all gone, same old song, get Jack Johnson out. Come on, come along, you Johnny Bay boys, the lights were on the tire. Riding your shin with the jolly rolling tar. Come along, come along, you jolly wee boys, and let's more grog in the jar. Oh, pal, the bride your shin with the jolly rolling tar. Thank you. Now, everybody's always talking about pirates because, you know, it doesn't matter where you have a war of 1812. A uh, brig out there, or you've got a, you know, a, a merchant class kind of three-masted, four-masted schooner. Any, any nine-year-old kid is going to say pirate ship as soon as they see it. Doesn't matter. So you have to do a pirate tune or two, and this is one of my favorites because this is not a pirate song from a Disney movie. This is a pirate song that was actually sung to a pirate on his last day on Earth. John Kidd was not, Captain Kidd was not a pirate to begin with. He was actually a seagoing policeman, but he had a couple of bad habits. First of all, he had the bad habit of uh, attacking the wrong ship from time to time. Got him in trouble. And he also had a bad temper. One day, he picked up a bucket, threw it at his mate, Bill Moore, hit him in the head, and killed him. It wasn't a Tupperware bucket. It was, uh, you know, an oak bucket with probably you know, iron fittings on it. So, Bill wore a bit of dust and uh, things went downhill from there. Eventually, they captured him off the coast of Virginia, took him back to England, and in 1701, marched him down, execution stock to be hung. And that didn't go well either. Because uh, the rope broke and they had to do it twice. As the wonderful thing about stories like this is that they're true. I love the part. And, uh, and what they did was they had things back in the day because people used to go to executions like we go to ball games, you know. And well, actually, in Texas they still do. Uh, but here they had broad they had things called broadsheets, which were basically printed song lyrics they'd sell for like a penny or a nickel, equivalent of a penny or a nickel today. So when John Kidd was marched off to be executed, you people taping this are going to be buying CDs, right? <laughs> um, when they marched him off to execution stock, they sang him this song. So this is not, you know, this is a song that John Kidd heard 312 years ago. This year. So your part in this is, as I sail, as I sail, right? As I sail, as I sail. And they'll sing another line, and they'll all go, as I sail. Try that. As I sail. Then I'll sing one more line and we'll finish up each verse with As I sail, as I sail. As I sail, as I sail. My name is Captain Kidd. As I sail, as I sail. My name is Captain Kidd. As I sail. My name is Captain Kidd. And as I did it for me, most wickedly I did. As I sail, as I sail. Parents taught me well as I sail. My parents taught 
thought me well to shun the gates of hell, but against them I rebel. As I sail, as I sail, I murdered William Moore. As I sail, as I sail, I murdered William Moore. As I sail, I murdered William Moore, and I left him in his core, forty leagues from shore. As I sail, as I sail. His precious blood did spill as I sail, as I sail. Now to execution's dock, I must go, I must go. To execution's dock, I must go. To execution's dock, lay my head upon the block. No more the laws of back as I sail, as I sail. Cause my name is Captain Kidd, as I sail, as I sail. My name is Captain Kidd. I say, my name's Captain Pete, and as all I did for me, most wickedly I did. As I say, as I say, most wickedly I did. As I say, as I say. Nice well, this is a tune here that's uh, a shipwreck song. Not that one, different one. <laughs> and uh, this goes back a hundred years ago. Uh, this November will be the hundredth anniversary of the uh, Great Storm of 1913. And the good thing I didn't try to do that. He said, "Oh, I can do that in 20 minutes." It's, like it's been 50 at this point. I had a very good friend once about time as a piano tuner, and he took me on gigs with him just to learn how it's done, and it's very interesting. You can't, you can't tune like a, you know, a one C below middle C to the one above middle C. You have to leave out little quavers in the middle, otherwise it won't work. And it's a real art to it. It's really kind of interesting to see. But um, this is a shipwreck song. It goes back to 100 years ago. And I learned the story at the Marquette Maritime Museum up in the UP. And it's all about dancing Jimmy Owen, who was a um, uh, master mariner for over 30 years. And um, he also had some problems sailing. Uh, he got into port late a bunch of times. And uh, the guys who owned the company, the Hargrove brothers, told him that if this happened one more time, uh, he would be looking for a ship the next season. So whether that forced him to go out in the weather he had no business in, we'll really never know. I mean, he, he knew he was going out into a storm. He had no idea he was going out into the perfect storm of the 20th century in the Great Lakes. And wiped out half the, half the shipping in the Great Lakes that weekend. And, uh, and his ship as well. Uh, no survivors. Except the mate who had the great good fortune to contract pneumonia. And he went home before the ship got home. So they received the telegram, telegraph saying that uh, the Henry B. Smith had gone down, but not that this guy was not aboard. Almost went to his own funeral. But he became a bit of a celebrity, and a friend of mine in Marquette sent me a, an interview with this guy, whose name I just missed me somewhere. And what he did was, he was a very, very poetic kind of guy. So there's, there are lines in the song like, the horror of shipwreck is all in the weight as the cold makes you freeze to the core. I was like, man, I couldn't do that. That's a great line. Yeah. So I just took the interview. I stitched together this song. It's called Dancing to the Milwaukee to Hobart in town, with a big load of ore from the rain. Heard my father Smith would ever go down as I rode home to Cleveland by train. I rode home to Cleveland by train. I was six. 
sick, I was tired of being the pain. The owners were tired of the lay. Captain Owen, his shoulders had carried the weight. Why, how could it soon be away? Now business is business, neither kind, neither cruel. Fair weather, foul as it may be. When it's no longer starter, was to stay home from school. But he ordered Captain Owen to see. He ordered Jimmy Owen to see. They had loaded on Sunday, they had tempted fate. And the hoppers were frozen with ore. The horror of shipwreck is all in the way, as the cold makes you freeze to the core. Now I might have figured there would be a blow. Two passengers were left behind. The Choctaw and the Mark both watched him go and wondered if he lost his mind. Lost his mind. While the hatches were open. I'll never know. Behind schedule, they steam past the wall. To the storm or the key went off, no place to go. In a dream, they were one of it all. Now it's a full the women struggle for life. One that stares them right in the face. Parade for your firelight, your children, your wife. And a quick end in this god awful place. You can hand and steer, work your hands to the bone. Pick up me, master of us. You can sail 30 years like dancing Jimmy Owen. Lose your life to your profit and loss. Lose your life to profit and loss. Yeah, the best stories are true.